In this video I want to answer a question that's came up or has come up there on my YouTube channel and on some of the other channels where I distribute videos. Recently I made a video about buying an investment property in Cork and I made a couple of videos about it. Prior to that I had made a video about the difficulty of being a small landlord and the difficulty of getting a property back in circumstances where the tenant has stopped paying rent and the difficulty of interacting with the RTB and the frustration that a small landlord would feel in the ordinary course of dealing with the likes of the Residential Tenancies Board and with the likes of a non-paying tenant. And of course the question came up then uh, on my YouTube channel you have made videos there before about getting wiped out with the collapse of the Celtic property uh, tiger or Celtic tiger property market and I did and I made videos about the difficulty of being a small landlord and I did. Why would you be buying property now? Why are you buying this investment property in Cork? And of course the answer is very very simple but it's there's a principle here and there's a lesson here I suppose for everybody who might be considering not just investing in property but investing in shares or investing in gold or investing in cryptocurrency or inv investing in anything. The fact that I got wiped out in the crop property market in 2008 or so, that's say 16 years ago, is not going to determine or influence or decide whether I'm going to invest in property in 2024 or not. The fact that I got wiped out in the property crash in 2008 or so on when the Celtic Tiger property boom came to an end is only one factor that I'm going to take into account in deciding whether to invest in property in 2024 or not. I have to look around and see are the circumstances different now. I'm going to have to assess interest rates, supply of property, demand for property, the overall economy and many factors. And I would suggest to you that when you are investing in shares or in property or in anything else, you must weigh up all of the factors and the given circumstances in which you find yourself. If you got drenched after leaving your house, in 1979 or 1989 or 1999 and you're absolutely soaked to the skin and you got a bad flu from it, would that prevent you from leaving the house thereafter? If you're riding a bicycle or riding a horse, learning how to ride a horse or learning how to ride a bicycle and you fell off, would you say, well, that's not for me, I'm quitting, I'm never going to ride a bicycle or a horse again? Or would you get back up on it? It seems to me that in order to make a rational investment, you must weigh up all the factors. And simply because a market dipped or corrected or crashed at one particular point in time should not determine or influence your decisions from that point forward. Obviously, it's going to be a factor in your consideration. It's going to be a factor in your thinking. But you would be, I believe, my firm belief is that you'd be a foolish investor to base an investment decision or an investment strategy or an investment policy on one data point, one crash in 20, uh, 2008 or whenever it might have happened. In you know, with the Wall Street crash in 1929, does that mean, for example, that investing in shares is a fool's game? Because anybody who invested in, you know, Facebook or in Apple or in Coca-Cola in 1949, for example, are multi, multi millionaires or billionaires now. So the simple answer to the question is, why would you invest in property now, um, given your experience, given having been wiped out in 2008 and given your experience with a difficult non-paying tenant, why would you invest in property now? Because I think it's a good investment and I think that when you are investing whether as I say it's in shares or cryptocurrency or property or whatever else you must weigh up all the factors but you cannot let one data point one incident determine your outlook forevermore hope you find this video useful if you do I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in watching this video up here thanks a lot